Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Mage's Guild. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw and this is Spellius here, our character. And today we're gonna finish helping up Miss uh I still need some help. If you can spare the time. Well, Yinda? I can't pronounce the names in this game if you guys haven't figured it out yet. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. So, uh, yeah, that spell, we, I did this in the last episode, I turned green and all that. That spell finally wore off. Exactly as I said it would. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. Uh, okay. You know, if you want a hot co-ed, you know, I might not be okay with this. This will be worth it. Okay, now don't move at all. Okay, not moving. Oh my, that isn't right. Just wait. Just, I can fix oh this. Oh dear. I spend the game with a cow. Oh no, that's not even or, or a horse. Let me try again. This really isn't turning out the way I'd hoped. Or a puppy. Oh, right this time, I swear. There, all better. Well, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, that's a weird angle, but whatever. We'll just talk to her from our, over our shoulder. Uh, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> oh, no, it hasn't. Let's be honest. I have a long way to go before I'm ready for the kind of advanced magic I've been attempting. But at least I know where to start now. Thank you. You've been a great help to me. Now, what do you need? Let me, let me find that. Why did we do all this? Why did we uh, go through all this hassle? Here's why. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. By doing that for her, by completing her college task, she becomes a follower. I can bring her along to help with my magics. Not going to right now. Until next time. But I could. We shouldn't have been disturbing Sarthal, no matter what you found down there. I don't want to hear any of your annoyed shit. All right, you're a mage now. Act like a mage, not like a. We should be disturbing Sarthal. Shut up. No matter what you found down there. Uh. Anyway, he had a task like the others as well. I ask if something wrong. Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family. And I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Uh... Until next time. This is, again, kind of like the quest for Jijago and... Well, I can find her again. Well, you just saw the woman who we were working with. It's kind of like her task. She, uh, you know, you finish this and he'll become a follower. I decided I'm gonna do a few of these and then I'm gonna go back to the main quest to try and, you know, split it up a little bit so I don't do all the side quests at once at the very end. So, oops. So let's go ahead. No, I don't wanna do that. There we go. Let's go ahead and swap to this one. We're gonna take care of this one today. Right then. So, Enther can be found. He likes to hang out upstairs above the students. Even with the college's late, there are some experiments the college frowns on, if they're aware of them, Now, of if, if, you know, Anmund wants to keep this quiet, why did he send me 20 feet to yell at this guy? Oh my, how precious. Anmund is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Anma knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. You could pass the persuasion, but then I couldn't show you the dungeon, so I'm not going to even try. I don't think I'd pass it, but what if I did? Okay, but uh, I could also try and pay him for it, like so. No, no, you're not understanding this. Onmund made a deal. He made that choice, and now he has to live with it. Uh, but... Purposely killing Oh, I didn't mean to click on that, sorry. As for research, well, a sufficient explanation will cover almost anything. If you're going to need live test subjects for your experiments, it's easier to do that off of college grounds. Didn't mean to click on that, but yeah, if I didn't mention it earlier... 
There's virtually nothing you're not allowed to do here if you don't kill other mages. I've already made it very clear that all of my trades are final. So like I said, if you can't pass the persuasion, you can't give him money for it, you gotta choose this option. Like, there gotta be some way we can get this thing back. Come on. Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Anman gave up the first time I said no. But not you. All right. I'll tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. Are you following me? I am, but uh, I want to be a kind of a jerk and make you spell it out even though I get exactly what we're going for here. You're not very good at this, are you? Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? Alright, I'll get it. Uh, you know, a favor for a favor and all that good stuff. Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. Okay. All right. Now we have our task. We gotta find the staff. I understand you're the one that found this orb in Sarthal. Yes, yes I am. Not that that has any... You don't have anything for me to say, but yes I can. I did find it, indeed. Alright then, so to get our staff to help uh, our Nord friend, who's kind of an idiot if you haven't figured it out yet. He's complaining about all the mage stuff we do, but he wants to be a mage. And now, and he trades something precious, wants it back. I don't like his character, I think he's too, uh, well, stupid. Anyway, let's see where we're headed, shall we? I don't know why I'm running down the street here, I just got sidetracked, I guess. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a jog, isn't it? Uh, we'll be taking care of that one off screen for sure. Okay. So I'll fast travel to, well, I'll, I'll catch a carriage. I'll, I'll grab a carriage down here at Winterhold. And I'll take it to Solitude and jog there from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright everyone, we're back now. We're here at Pine Moon Cave, which is where, where all the staff is that we have to get back. And, uh, well, we're going to do that in the manner we're most accustomed to. And, of course, I forgot to do something. One second. There we go. Going to replace Ray Zombie, which is on button 4, with my Atrian Arc because it's... Well, it's just better. I like Atronarchs a lot. So, uh, let's head inside, shall we? See what awaits us in, the, in there. But first... Let's get some backup, shall we? Here's our little buddy. Alright, everyone, we're back now. Back inside the building. Our Atronarch on away. Now, when you walk in, you're going to get attacked by a couple of wolves, but, um, I took care of them already. It, nothing, you didn't miss anything. I literally just threw a fireball, hit a wolf, it died, end of story. That's all you missed. Because I made a little error after that, and I decided to edit out that portion. Anyway, today's Lord Topic is going to be about... Wait for it. First, I want to get my Atron Arc ready. Aw, come on. There we go. Today's Lord Topic is going to be about Vampirism. No, I want to be behind her. You're the tank, you take lead. Okay, now this here is a master vampire. They're pretty damn tough. In fact, he'll probably beat up my Atronarch. As you just saw, he did kick my Atronarch's butt, but she at least bought me the time I needed to try and get away. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, master vampires are a bit too tough for where I am right now. Like, by a bit I mean really too tough for me. Oh, where'd it go? They drain health. However, they suffer from vampire weaknesses. And that is the lore topic of the day. We're going to talk about vampires. But as a vampire, he's got a couple weaknesses I don't have. The first one being sunlight. Now, if he's smart, which it appears he is, he won't come out here because he knows he can't survive sunlight. If he comes out, he starts draining health like crazy. That gives me a way to fall back against him. Second rule about fighting vampires... They are weak to fire magic. 
I, I have a lightning spell I could use, but uh, again, they're weak to fire, so why would I? So keep in mind, yeah, it may seem cheap, but I call this strategy, okay? I could wait here till my health regenerate, but I'm just going to wait now to speed it up, because he can't come outside as long as the sun is out, and I've still got about 30 minutes of sunlight, so I know I'm safe from him attacking me, like coming out and attacking me, so it was safe to wait, catch my breath, get a new Aethon Arc, and then head back in for round two. So now let's go back and finish the job, shall we? We took out some of his health. He, he probably got his health back while I waited, but he lost his backup. That was what I was working with. He has a lot less people to help him fight me now, and I'm going in with a full mana bar, and I would say I'm going with an eight. There she is, with an Aethon Arc, but she looks like she's not going to get there before she goes away. So yeah, Vampirism is a disease you can contract in Skyrim. Come and get some. Oh, I missed. Oh, Aethon Arc, you take point, please. Now you see how it went much better this time, because I had more mana and the Aethon Arc lasted a lot longer. No. Well, did I forget to mention that? When an Aethon Arc dies, it, um... Well, it explodes into a giant fireball. It can't hurt the one who summoned it. You gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rope, because it's worth some decent cash. Anybody else I gotta deal with in here? Doesn't look like it. But yeah. Vampire. It is a disease you can contract in Skyrim, and you can become a vampire, just like previous games in the series. I'm not a fan of it personally, and uh, I don't recommend it, but if you like it, you know, feel free. It does have some nice perks, but I don't think it's worth the drawbacks. It is, of course, a large staple of one of the expansions of the game, that being Dawn Guard. And if we ever get to that, if I ever LP that section of the, of the DLC, well, we'll talk more about them then, of course. But for now, I'm going to say, you know, it's a disease you can catch. You can get it from any attack a vampire inflicts on you, even with their magic. Hmm. Some decent stuff in here, actually. Beyond that... Uh, they have a weakness to fire, I believe I already said that. They have increased resistance to immu uh, illusion magic. They, they resist spells that they shouldn't normally resist. And they also have increased illusion magic. They can Vampire characters can use it more effectively. Ooh, nice. There's that staff we got, a uh, charm staff. I believe that's what we're here for. Yes, it is. Some more junk I'm just going to sell to afford my spells. Oh, and a skill book. On illusion. Remember I just said vampires are good at illusion? Yeah. They're kind of trying to imply that a little more here, I guess. Alright, so we got what we came for. We can head out now. Now, some interesting lore about vampires. Uh, skip about 30 seconds into the video, because there are, if you don't like spoilers. I'm going to be talking about something that was prevalent in Oblivion, the game before this. If you don't want to hear about a thing, about major characters in Oblivion, again, skip ahead. So, vampires in Oblivion, there was actually one in particular being that was actually a successful leader of a country. Yeah, I know. He led a country. Yeah, vampires are not uh, complete idiots. They're not just mindless beasts like a feral werewolf. They are sentient beings. They have functioning minds. They happen to just need to kill people. Well, to drink human blood. They don't necessarily have to kill them. And... Jizargo, why are you armed? Why do you have an attack spell readied? Whatever. Urag can be very helpful. Just don't antagonize him. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, beyond that, vampires, uh... Well, actually, let me just check real quick. I don't have the disease while we talk about them. Nope, we're good, we're good. You would see under your current effects tab, or active effects tab up here, that's where you would see if you have any diseases. And there's a disease called, like, Sanguis Harmana or something like that. The first one is Sanguis, and that is the vampire's disease. And you want to cure that before you... W don't wait a couple days... You, you can fast travel once, don't push it your luck more than that, and fast travel to the nearest city if you're going to do it. Because uh, if you wait too long, you will just become a vampire, and then you can't cure it. Well, there is a way to cure it, I'm told, in Dawn Guard, but uh, if you don't want to be a vampire, just don't risk it. It's not hard to cure it. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off-limits. Indeed. Well, I got that staff for you. I almost got inflicted with a very deadly disease for it, so I give me the amulet. Pleasure doing business with you. 
All right. I always like Enzo's character. He is, uh, well, he's exactly what he comes off as. He's a businessman, first and foremost. We shouldn't have been disturbing Sarthal. But no stop matter walking what away from me. All right, I got your amulet back, you who walks away when I talk to you. <laughs> I didn't think you'd really give it back. Thank you, friend. It's good to know I can count on you. And for completing that, he now becomes a follower. I can have him come with me and help me on my fights and stuff. All right, then. But if I was going to take a follower... At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. I'd have taken her. I'd rather have the sexy dark elf co-ed than the Nord who cries about disturbing ruins when that's all I do is disturb ruins all day. So yeah, we got a nice couple things done today. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I, th I think I've done enough. So yeah, uh, real quick, I'll wrap up my vampire lore because I had a little more to say about them. Yeah, vampires are not mindless beasts. Uh, they've actually successfully held city offices in Oblivion. And, uh... You know, very few people knew they were a vampire, the guy who did it. I'm not saying his name on purpose, I'm not saying where he's from, I'm trying to keep a li as low spoiler as I can about this. But, yeah, I mean, they, they are actually pretty clever. It's just because they drink blood, they are ostracized and, you know, they're forced to hide from people. People all don't like them, want to kill them on sight. But, uh, which is kind of sad because, you know, you don't get the vampire disease from having your blood drank. So, you know, they could have they could have mingled in society safely if people had just given them a chance, but they, you know, fear and hatred of something different and all that. I don't know, I just think it's, I think the vampires get a bad rep in this game. But I guess, you know, they drink blood, I can see why they get a bad rep. So anyway, that'll be all for today, everyone. So, I'm Nosgard Silverclaw, with our character here, Spellius, and, uh... I'll see you guys next time. For now, you can enjoy the pretty blue magical fountain thing.